your faces in that video there. MJD, Maurice Jones okay. Drew. Okay. MJD. He's going to be at the game. He's very excited about it this week. Sure, Jacksonville won back in 07, but since then, the Steelers have enjoyed way more playoff success than the Jags. Pittsburgh has eight postseason wins, including that Super Bowl win to cap wins, off man, the 2008 <laughs> season. I know. Tom Pelissero and Aditi Kinkabwala, they're live at Heinz Field. Just 24 hours here before kickoff. What's up, guys? Well, Colleen, the snow removal is continuing over here at Heinz Field, but over at Steelers headquarters, there was a familiar face this morning, and that is that Antonio Brown returned to the facility for a walkthrough. He, of course, missed yesterday's practice with a little bit of an intestinal bug. He is back. He's been on a three-week layoff since he injured his calf against that Patriots game, but he looked great, and as a teammate just messaged me, he was fine today. I asked Jaguars defensive end Calais Campbell this week how much Brown's health impacts their game plan. Calais pointed back to last week when, of course, LaShawn McCoy with the Bills barely practiced the entire week. All these questions about how he would be on that ankle, and McCoy played pretty good. So Campbell said it is the same thing this week. We're expecting to see Antonio Brown at full tilt for a big game. And this is definitely a matchup to watch tomorrow. You have the two most productive wide receivers in Juju Smith-Schuster and Antonio Brown going against the best cornerback duo in the NFL. And we've heard a little bit from Jalen Ramsey about that matchup. Ramsey is always going to be a talker. That's absolutely something that's one of <laughs> his defining characteristics. He told me last week, I'm going to have to take it up a little notch or going to the playoffs, but also make sure I'm channeling my excitement into the right direction. The real question on the other side of the ball is, can the Jaguars pass more effectively than they did last week against Buffalo? I spoke to a number of people who know Blake Bortles really well. Current teammates, former coaches this week. Everybody says all the criticism is not something that really gets to him. Bortles himself made a joke this week that, hey, if people can still say LeBron James sucks, then certainly people are always going to say that I suck. And it's something that he just is going to have to deal with. I talked to his old offensive coordinator at University of Central Florida, Charlie Taff. Asked him about Bortles running for more yards than he passed for. Taff said, I think that's one of the strengths of Blake. He's resourceful. He found a way to survive. And when they beat the Steelers back in October, Bortles only completed eight passes in that game. Well, and it's very interesting you say that because that is definitely something the Steelers talked about a lot this week is keeping him in the pocket and not allowing him to get through those rush lanes. Now, before we send it back to you, we've talked about the snow, but Colleen, it is very cold today. The feels like is about zero degrees. Oh my Tomorrow, God. it won't get out of the teens. Wow. Well, that's perfect weather for running the ball for sure. Ooh. So we'll see how that affects the game. Guys, thank you. Stay warm. Get extra hand warmers. I'll send some out to you. Thank <laughs> you.